Hey, brothers and sisters, Matt Hatton here. So last but not least, as far as the Avalon Hero Series, uh, we have Bakken. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. It might be Bachin, um, but I like Bakken. So uh, let's jump into this hero, and uh, I will tell you why I think he is one of the better three-star heroes in the game. So as far as Bakken, uh, he is the imp of Avalon. He is uh, part of the Avalon family. He's a fire monk, and he is a three-star. So when fully ascended, his stats are going to be 420 attack, 453 defense, and 830 health. Uh, his special is called Goblin Fury, and he's running at average mana speed. So his special is dealing 105% damage to all enemies, um, which I think is pretty reasonable for a three-star hero. Uh, not the highest, but not bad at all uh, when you take it the or take a look at the other parts of his special so he's also reducing the mana of all enemies by 20 percent and that is very significant number um that 20 percent is high for like a four or a five star hero but as far as a three star hero um that you know that's that's high as well so that that is excellent um he's also um giving all allies all allies plus 24 percent mana generation for four turns so I can really see how uh, Bakken could be effective on a three-star uh, team, but he could also really help with a four-star team. Uh, maybe pulling him in on a five-star team might be pushing it, but with the 24% mana generation for all allies, you know, if you were able to, and the reduction of mana on the enemy team, I should say, uh, the, the damage might not be that important. So, you know, obviously it would come down to a question of if you could keep him alive or not. Uh, but if he was part of a team where he was just basically boosting up a bunch of heroes around him and taking the mana down on the enemy team, uh, you could probably work him into um, a raid where you're going against, um, you know, a, a higher level team uh, for sure. So Bakken is a pretty incredible three star. Um, as far as the uh, ascending him to 350, um, all the mats that you would need are farmable. Uh, so there's not really anything specific as far as any three or four star ascension materials that are worth mentioning because you don't need them. Uh, in addition to the food required to feed him, uh, which for the three stars is relatively cheap, uh, you're going to need 132,000 food uh, to uh, do the final ascension from two to three. Uh, as far as him being a monk, if you did want to take him all the way up to 20, uh, which might be interesting because it really doesn't take too many emblems, um, it would require 233 monk emblems. Uh, it might be worth it if you wanted to have a stronger three-star team for events um, because it's really not too many emblems in the grand scheme of things. Uh, if you were to fully emblem him up, uh, if you followed the sword path, you could increase his attack by 507. Uh, to 507, you could increase his uh, shield uh, or his defense to 507, and then you can increase his health to 926. And then if you follow the shield path, you could increase his attack to 462, his defense to 556, and his health to 998. So with this hero and his uh, the way his special is built, uh, I would say you don't really need to lean into his attack uh, by following the sword path. Uh, you really want to keep him uh, a little bit more tanky and survival or increase his survivability. So I would recommend um, embleming him into the shield path um, if you if you want to uh, level him up for like three star tournaments. Um, his ability as a monk is going to be called withstand, uh, which if you do emblem him up to level 20, it's going to uh, give you a 30 percent chance to resist any status ailments that are coming at him. Uh, so that would be uh, pretty nice just to keep him alive and let him uh, keep increasing your mana gen on your team and um, decreasing the mana of the enemy team. And then, you know, obviously being able to pump out some um, nice damage to uh, all the targets on the enemy team. Uh, so follow, again, the uh, shield uh, shields down the board. Um, anything with a shield or a heart is going to be good. Uh, you can just avoid the swords um, as you go down. And then uh, for the uh, troops, now with him being a three-star, obviously in the three-star uh, events or tournaments, uh, you're probably going to be limited to two-star troops. Uh, but because of what I said about his specials, you know, he's definitely a feasible option to bring into like a four-star team or a five-star team for like a non-event type activity. So I would say 
Uh, the mana troops um, are going to be good for him um, if you have some extra mana troops uh, to help speed him up. Uh, but uh, with him running at a normal or average mana speed, it's going to take him 10 tiles uh, to fire tiles to charge up his special and five ghosted tiles. So that's not too bad. Um, you know, so I would say, you know, probably run him uh, with the critical troops, as I've mentioned on other heroes, just for the not so much for the attack or the um, critical uh, strike increase, although this will help uh, because he's attacking all targets. But more so, um, I like the uh, health and the defense uh, that the critical troops provide. Uh, so with the mana troops, um, if you were to try and move him from an average to a fast uh, hero, uh, just keep in mind that those would or that would require mana troops at level 23. Uh, so that will take you a little bit of time to get there. Um, as far as the Knights of Avalon family bonus, again, two, three, four, five uh, heroes in this family is going to give you a critical chance of plus 5, 10, 15, or 20 percent. And then healing is increasing by uh, 4, 6, 9, or 13 percent. So as far as a bonus build, um, incorporating Bakken into the group, I would say an interesting team would be uh, Lady of the Lake is tank and then Black Knight is flank. Um, you can watch some of the other videos on these heroes to um, see why I'm putting Black Knight as a flank and not a tank. And then Morgan Le Fay as wing one. Um, I'd have Sir Lancelot as wing two. Uh, he would be providing a nice uh, mana gen bonus uh, to Lady of the Lake and Bakken. And then, of course, if Bakken is able to fire off, he's uh, providing a mana gen for the entire team. And then he's decreasing mana of the entire enemy team. And then he's pr uh, putting out a, a reasonable uh, damage to all targets as well. Uh, so this would be an interesting uh, build with Bakken in it. Um, it would provide an even amount, I think, of tankiness um, also combined with uh, some pretty reasonable attack. So it wouldn't be a high burst damage um, team, uh, if you will, but uh, it would be you know kind of more based on survivability, shutting down the specials on the enemy team, and then just really slowly uh, whittling away the uh, enemy team with attacks that they really wouldn't be able to respond to. So um, I would have Bakken as part of that mana gen meta uh, that I mentioned on the Sir Lancelot video. So I would say just check out that video if you want to see all the other heroes that are kind of in the same similar meta uh, as far as uh, heroes that are able to increase mana generation uh, for all the heroes on your team. Um, and then the best position for Bakken, I'm going to say uh, probably a flank. Uh, just tuck him in behind the tank. Uh, you could run him as a wing um, if you had um, a good tank or uh, something uh, or some heroes to take the damage away from him. Uh, but just keep in mind if you are running him above like a three star level team, uh, then he, he could be taken out relatively quickly. Uh, so maybe the best or safest position is flank. Um, as far as uh, Titans, he is going to be uh, probably a hero that you would want to consider for like a nature Titan. Uh, I would give him a B rating. He is a feasible option, uh, though, on other Titans, just because his uh, mana generation that he's providing uh, really isn't going to, it isn't going to matter which uh, Titan uh, uh, element that you're attacking. Uh, so you could use him in that capacity if, you, if you'd want to speed up the mana gen uh, on the rest of your team and you don't have any better options. Uh, in Wars, Defense, and Raids, I'm going to give him an A rating. Uh, this is not saying that you should take him into um, uh, or it's be attacking teams that are, um, you know, higher um, uh, team power. Um, but he, he does have some options, I think, surrounded with the right heroes. Uh, you could use him in a war um, or, or a raid um, and use basically take advantage of his mana gen um, and his... Uh, mana decrease off the enemy team uh, so you know just keep him protected and I think he could do some reasonable damage uh, defense I'm giving him an A with the uh, star um, of that he is good on a defense for maybe a lower level player uh, that's not going against teams that are too hard um, he would absolutely get melted um, if he was on a defense on you know on the 
later parts of the game, like mid game or, you know, end game. Um, but if you are a relatively newer player and you have him as part of your three star team, that's why I'm saying he could be an A uh, on defense. And then for tournaments, as far as three star tournaments, I think he's going to get an A all around. Um, he's doing a great job in terms of um, uh, like a, uh, the uh, rush or the bloody uh, battle. Uh, he's doing uh, great as far as the buff. Um, so I just think that uh, no matter what the tournament uh, is that's going on, uh, because of what he's doing with the mana gen and with the mana decrease, um, he's essentially helping your team no matter if there's no healing on the field uh, or if you need to get attacks off quickly or, you know, if every team is running it fast, you know, and there's a bunch of slow heroes, he's still going to hang in there and help your team no matter what. Uh, so he's a, I think he's one of the best, uh, you know, if not one of the better uh, three-star heroes uh, as far as uh, tournaments uh, are concerned. And then for events, uh, especially for the three-star events, he's going to just help out uh, with those uh, and do an incredible job as well. Uh, so overall, uh, Bakken is definitely an A. Um, I think he is uh, surprisingly one of my uh, favorite heroes as far as the Avalon family. So very impressed with him. And uh, the good thing is with the three-star heroes, they're pretty easy to level up. So I, I probably will consider throwing in some emblems in uh, to him and uh, taking him uh, into some events or, and, uh, or some competitive uh, uh, tournaments and see if I can uh, score high with him on my team. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, if you like the content, like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, up to this point and uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any questions about any of this content or any of the other content if you want to see some of the other avalon heroes all the other hero reviews are going to be up and posted uh, by the time this one goes live but thanks for tuning in and we definitely look forward to seeing you on the next video take care everybody